I bought a Disney 100th Anniversary Paint With Water colouring book for $2. And I thought to myself, what better way to celebrate such a massive anniversary than to corrupt these beloved characters? Disney has been bringing happiness and joy to its fans for many, many years. And in this video, I'm going to do the opposite. I want to show you what happens when a horror artist transforms these iconic characters into something a little bit less family friendly. I will be utilizing the paint with water elements on these pages to help with the coloring process. I'll also use my Copics from time to time and my Prismacolor pencils to help with these transformations. Plus, I'll be doing lots of line work to add to these illustrations. I challenged myself to fill in every single page in this coloring book. There are 12 illustrations to transform, and I'm gonna do my best to create something horrific on each one. But before that, this is your daily reminder to stay hydrated. This video is not made for children. If you do not wanna see your favorite characters get transformed into monsters, don't keep watching. I think it's pretty clear this is a horror parody. If you're easily scared, watch something else instead. But if you do enjoy creepy art videos like this one, definitely consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. That way you won't miss out on any future uploads. With that all said, I'm going to finish off this horrific transformation of Simba. In the end, I like how this one turned out. During the drawing process, I was a bit worried I was going overboard with all the teethy details, and I was concerned that the legibility of his body would be lost. But I think it came together in the end, luckily. I spent quite a lot of time on the first transformation, and I knew I needed to pace myself if I wanted to complete this entire coloring book. So I thought I'd do something a bit more simple for Mickey Mouse. They say Disneyland is the happiest place on Earth. Mickey sure does look happy. I actually find it quite relaxing doing these paint with water pages. Until I start adding all the extra details, that is. But until then, I just utilize the colors given to me and mix them around to see what happens. I think that's enough relaxing coloring. It's time to add some horrific details. I start by sketching some rough plans and then inking on top to add more detail. I don't always know exactly what I'm gonna do for these drawings, but I've found if I just go for it, sometimes I'll get ideas midway through the drawing. And that's what happened here. I thought having these cool spiky appendage arms coming up from the bottom of the page would add a really creepy element to the drawing because you can tell these arms must be really long. You would definitely not want to get skewered by this monstrosity. I added shading to her skin, if you can call it skin, using my Prismacolor pencils. This helps create a protective layer between the paper and the Copic I'm about to apply on top, in the form of blood and gore. The cheap paper used in these colouring books does not always work well with Copics, and I've found that putting down a thick layer of pencil creates a waxy barrier where the Copic ink can pull on top of and create cool blood effects. So it's a pretty cool technique I utilize a lot when I do these transformations. But don't tell anyone, it's my secret blood technique. And here's Pocahontas looking like a terrifying monster you might have to face in the Witcher universe. It's time for some more relaxing paint with water goodness. I sure could get used to this. Maybe I should start a family-friendly channel where I don't corrupt these drawings and just do simple colouring videos like this. Nah, where's the fun in that?
this was probably my least favourite drawing of the video. I don't mind the concept, but the execution was a bit off, and I'm not trying to blame the paper, but this paper in this colouring book sucks. Especially when you're trying to do detailed stuff, and it just looks messy. But that's enough excuses. Let's move on to the next one. How can I transform the adorable Stitch? I've drawn the alien Stitch with patchwork skin before, all sewn together, so I thought instead this time, I would transform him into a cute voodoo doll with a little stitched on heart. I've tried to not make all of my horror art just gory and gross to look at. I think it can be nice having some creepy art, but it's still kind of cute at the same time. It doesn't just have to be over the top gore for every drawing. So I try to incorporate that into my videos. They can still be cute, but horror at the same time. And that's what I try to do for this voodoo stitch. It's a simple concept, but I like how this one turned out. Disney, if you're watching this, why don't you reach out and we can create a horror stitch plushie together. <laughs> if you can't stomach lots of gore and guts, literally spilling out everywhere, maybe you should skip ahead. But you've come this far, I think you can handle it. I wonder if any of you guys picked up on this, but the inspiration behind this transformation was actually Michonne from The Walking Dead, when she's first introduced in the series, and she's got the two zombies on leashes. That was just the inspiration I had behind this one. Obviously it's not meant to look exactly like that, but that was the idea. <laughs> the innocent looking girl with two monstrosities next to her, and you wonder how is she in control? More relaxing watercolour painting for Alice in Wonderland. Such a strange story. I remember being extremely confused and slightly scared. Little Jordan had no idea what was going on. What happens if the rabbit hole was in her own mind? Quite literally. I think I can draw that. Channeling the iconic Junji Ito. I know I may overuse these Junji Ito references quite a bit, but I could not resist myself for this drawing. It just fit too well, and I have fun doing it, so I'm gonna draw it, okay? Yes, it's not super original, but who cares, it looks cool. Time for something a little bit different. A Finding Nemo drawing. I don't think I've done this before. Are you hungry, my hearty? Bird's eye, fish fingers. Anyone who's unfamiliar with that ad probably thinks I've completely lost it right now, which isn't far from the truth. Now when it comes to transforming Nemo, he's a clownfish. Rack your brains here for a second because I'm about to do something extremely high level and big brain. So see if you can follow along. Clownfish, Stephen King, It, Pennywise, horror transformation. It is the perfect idea. Like and subscribe, this is peak horror content here on YouTube.
I think these two could make a cameo in the next Piranhas 3D movie. If they're still making those, that is. Maybe Sharknado stole their audience. There can only be so many ridiculous horror movies about fish, right? I never watched this Pixar movie. I believe it's called Coco. It seems like it's got some pretty good reviews, so... I was gonna say maybe I'll watch it, but I'm lying. I'm realistically never gonna get around to it. But for those of you who did watch it and enjoyed it, good for you. I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyway, I'm gonna do a Jeff the Killer transformation. This one's for all the OG Creepypasta fans out there who are right about now getting a massive nostalgia hit. They were simpler times back then, weren't they? Excerpt from a local newspaper. Ominous unknown killer is still at large. After weeks of unexplained murders, the ominous unknown killer is still on the rise. After little evidence has been found, the young boy states that he survived one of the killer's attacks and bravely tells his story. A mild trypophobia warning for this drawing. If honeycomb makes you feel uncomfortable, skip to the next transformation. I personally quite enjoy honey on my porridge, so this version of Pooh Bear would always be welcome at breakfast time. Bees are an important part of our ecosystem, and we must learn to house these bees within our flesh. Now that would be terrifying. Imagine if bees could lay their eggs inside of you, and your skin would turn into honeycomb, and you were infested with bees. Doomed to be a living host for the beehive for the rest of your days. I mean, we do steal honey from the bees, so maybe it's time for them to steal our blood nectar. An eye for an eye. Isn't that right, Pooh Bear? Next up is Mickey's sweetheart, Minnie Mouse. I'm gonna give this rodent a mini horror transformation. And here's Minnie's grand reveal after receiving a signature Jordan Persigati horror glow up. Fabulous. For the final page of this colouring book is the overly enthusiastic Olaf. He has such an infectious smile, doesn't he? In fact, I think it is infectious. Rabies. Don't get bitten by him. I'm gonna need some ice for this frozen transformation. That's better. I'm about as happy as Olaf that I've finally finished this Disney colouring book. Let me know in the comments down below which transformation was your favourite, and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to see more content from me. A massive thank you to all of my amazing patrons for supporting my channel. I couldn't do it without you, and I appreciate you all. Bye.